in your own time. When Mike and I moved in, he'd come home from work. I'd ask him how his day had been and he would say, better for coming home to you. That was us. We were happy. I loved telling the story of how we got together. It was like something from a film. Mike used to come to the cafe where I worked and was always friendly. <laughs> I thought he was nice. The week that he asked for my number, he'd been in every day before. He told me that each day he hadn't the courage to ask me. Everyone would say the honeymoon phase will end, but it didn't. What we had worked for us. It seemed naive to think and foolish looking back that my first serious boyfriend could be the one, but that's how we felt. We were inseparable. We did everything together. But all couples are like that at one point, aren't they? Is it wrong to love someone so much all you want to do is be around them? When we first got together, my friends would say, that weird guy in the year above, but they didn't see him like I did. They didn't see the difference between being shy and being thoughtful. The romance changed when I got promoted. The fucked up thing is that Mike got fired on the same day. <laughs> what are the odds? He tried to hide how much being fired hurt him, but I could tell. He loved his job. He'd been there for three years. He'd always been motivated and driven. He said it was because of his dad. He wasn't good for anything and Mike refused to be like that. I know it was hard for him. The success at my new job and the friends I'd made there mirrored his lack of either. You never see the patterns when they're right in front of you. I'd ask how the job hunt is going and he would say, looking at some more today. but that's not what he was doing. I was that busy, I didn't notice until it was too late. I couldn't believe he'd done that. We were saving for a house and he'd spent over half of it. But what he said next shocked me most. At least I'm not cheating on you. Like I haven't noticed. How could he do that and then accuse me of cheating? I had to get out of there, but he wouldn't let me. He apologised, but it was never the same after that. He said it wouldn't happen again, but it did. And it kept happening. We became one of those couples that fell into the cycle of fights, breakups and getting back together. I'd never been in love before. Maybe this was how it's supposed to be. My mum and dad would fight all the time and sometimes there was violence. What made us any different? He'd go off at the drop of a hat if I was late or didn't let him know where I was. And if I told him that I got held up, he'd say, Don't you fucking lie to me! One time I told him that he needed to get help and that I'd help him do so. He, he didn't say anything after that. Except I didn't love him anymore. I had to get out. When he wasn't home, I packed a bag. I didn't have much time. He only left to get a drink. I saw my chance and took it. <laughs> I was too slow. He 
He flipped out and wouldn't let me go. I begged him to let me, but he wouldn't. He said, you're absolutely worthless. No one else is going to want you. You're lucky to have me. You deserve this. Then what happened? What did he say next? Nothing. 